We've all seen that halation bloom effect that we've been seeing all over social media. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do it for free. First, look at these two clips. One was made completely free in Adobe Premiere, and the other one was made with a paid plugin. Let me know which one you think is the paid plugin. Is it A or is it B? All right, so the paid plugin is actually made with B. I used Dehancer on this one, so I'm gonna walk you through what it's like using the paid plugin Dehancer and the process of what it is to do on how to do this free. I'm gonna start off with the free version and show you how quick and easy it is. Then I'm gonna walk you through some of the features on Dehancer. Before we dive into that, halation and bloom are just characteristics from old film footage. And it's been really popular and it does have this really nice look to it. At times it can be a little much and can get played out, especially if you overdo it. So I'll show you how to dial that back. So we have our clip here, first thing we're gonna want to do first thing we're going to want to do is duplicate our clip and then we are going to create an adjustment layer we're going to create an adjustment layer right here hit okay we're going to drag that right on top and we're going to stretch that out we're going to need gaussian blur and we're also going to need asc if you're on the latest version of premiere if you're on an old version you want to use channel mixer uh, they don't make it anymore it's obsolete and it was deleted i used to use it um what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna change the slope of everything except red to zero. So green slope, now we're just left with red. Um, and now we can play with this. We can kind of finesse it like that. We're gonna change the opacity to lighten. Uh, now we can play with the Gaussian blur and we could bump that up. And then if we play with the amount of red, you can see we're starting to get that subtle red glow so we could so you can see this is real subtle before and after all right so on the second clip to get the blur we want to add luma key and we also want to add gaussian blur again so we're gonna play i'm gonna turn this layer off and i'm gonna play with the cutoff for let's turn off the red too and let's go ahead and let's bring this actually down to like 80 maybe. And let's bring that up. So we wanna find the part that we wanna bloom. I feel like that's pretty good. Those are the bright areas of the frame. Then what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to just blur that up and then we're gonna turn that to lighten as well. So we have the adjustment layer off. So let's go ahead and turn that on and off. You can see Boom, we have a nice, soft, dreamy look. Um, it looks very hazy, right? And let's go ahead and turn that on. And we have some halation. So this is a way to do it for free. Uh, it's just a few steps. You could um, totally save this as a preset. You could select these two holding command or control, save as preset right there, name it as halation, drag and drop. Same thing with uh, the Luma key and the Gaussian blur right there. So. That's how to do it for free. This is a quick, dirty way to play around with the effect and see if you like it. But personally, I really like Dehancer and you can really dial in that film look. So I'm gonna pull up Dehancer right here. Once you have it installed, it's just a plugin on Premiere Pro. So let me add that on. So here's what it looks like when you first throw it on. And the first thing is input. You can even go in like, so like I had Lumetri on uh, showing it which uh, that I was using S-Log3. But the cool thing is I can actually go into here and I can choose a camera and it has every single camera. So I can specifically find uh, Sony A7S3 S-Log. I think I use the S-Log3 just like that. Um, and then what else you can, you can, you know, make some adjustments right here, but then in film, they have all sorts of film stock. So this isn't just halation and bloom. This is really locking in that film. Look, I think this is the most like realistic way to get that film. Look, so there's tons of like LUTs here that you can just scroll through. I actually really like the way this one looks. Um, but you can really just scroll through all these and they really have that film emulation look. So then you can go into, and you can obviously like play with like the push and pull right here. I think I like it darker actually. Um, and you can enable this. We can add a little bit more contrast if we want. I'm going to jump straight to halation here. You can switch over to mask mode, right? So if I go to mask mode, if I enable it and then go to mask mode, you can see that I can scroll through all these presets and these will show me what's actually gonna be selected for the halation. 
So like on these 35 millimeter ones, it's not as prominent, right? So if I turn off mask mode, you can kind of see, you really can't tell, but let's say I went to that eight millimeter. And then if you're not liking any of these presets, you can also go up to custom and you can really play around with how you want it to look yourself. So I like the presets. I feel like they look really good. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with this 16 millimeter one so we could go before and after and you could really see how much it's adding. And then, like I said, they also have bloom. So I can match the 16 millimeter right here. I can enable it. And then let's see what it's doing. So if we go mask mode, you can kind of see it's really just getting the edges here. It's really subtle. Like if I said, if I went eight millimeter, it's actually not as prominent. I think I'm gonna stick with the 16 and then you can see so before and after. Let's turn off that uh, halation. Before, before, after, and then after halation. We're rocking. Uh, then I would love to add some grain because I think grain is gonna tie this together. If you were doing this for free, you would probably wanna use like a grain overlay like from Cinepax, um, which definitely works, but it is nice that they just have all this. It's nice that this is all built into the public plugin. So uh, I would go with something higher. Like I have 16 millimeter 500 on if you want it super dirty. If you want a super dirty, go like eight millimeter 500 and that's just gonna be some really coarse grain. That's almost too much for my liking. Maybe 16 millimeter, even if you went 35, it becomes more fine, it's a higher resolution. Um, so that looks pretty good there, I, I'm really liking this. So film damage is just gonna add like little specs to your uh, footage and just kind of like, you know, when you're watching an older movie, you can see like specs and hairs. Um, it's just gonna add things like that. Film breath is gonna add a little bit of shake to the footage, uh, like it's actually being ran through a projector, which you don't have to turn on. And that's pretty much all I would add. I mainly use the halation, grain, and the bloom. Those features alone are worth it to get this plug in. Uh, I've really enjoyed this plugin. Let me know what you think about the comparison between the two. Uh, are you rocking with the Premiere version? There's more advanced ways to do an After Effects, but as soon as you have to go into After Effects, I feel like the process is just so long. You want to be able to knock this out real quick on an edit, even a social media edit. You know, you want something quick and dirty. So check out Dehancer. I have it linked down below. It's going to be an affiliate link, I think. So if you get it, I get a small kickback. But let me know what you guys think down below. Is Halation dead? Is it overplayed from Instagram Reels? Or is it still alive and well if you're using it subtle enough? I'm Tyler Casey with Cinepax. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.